welcome back to the Pal Mister channel. In this video, we will show you how to complete the three-phase connection and set up for three pals on smart LB and 12K hybrid inverters. First, install the three inverters in suitable positions and make sure they are securely mounted. The distance between each inverter should be greater than 50 cm to ensure proper heat dissipation. Next, Open the outer cover plans of all three units and recover the inner cover plans by unscrewing the four diagonal screws. Now connect the battery positive and negative terminals. Be sure to use bus bars that meet the required current specifications to connect the battery to all three inverters. You can follow the wiring diagram for PB connection or refer to our previous video on PB light connection for guidance. Here we will focus on the AC wiring connection. The Powsaw Smart LBN 12K hybrid inverter has only two light terminals, L1 and L2, for both AC input and output. To achieve a three-phase output, you will need at least two inverters working together. As you can see, L1 of the first inverter is connected to L2 of the third inverter to form phase A. L2 of the first inverter is connected to L1 of the second inverter to form phase B. L2 of the second inverter is connected to L1 of the third inverter to form phase C. With this wiring configuration, the system can deliver a balanced three-phase AC output. The neutral and ground connection are relatively simple. Just connect the neutral terminal of adjacent inverters in parallel and do the same for the ground terminal. Let's return to the wiring demonstration to better understand the actual connection principles. The wiring principle of AC input and output is the same. Once the AC line between the inverters are connected, Connect the utility input and the UPS output lights. As shown, connect the utility L1 light to the L1 terminal of the first inverter, L2 to the L1 terminal of the second inverter, and L3 to the L1 terminal of the third inverter. Connect the neutral light of the utility to the end terminal of any inverter, and connect the ground terminal of any inverter to the grounding bus bar. Do the same for the UPS output. L1 from the load breaker goes to the first inverters L1, L2 to the second, and L3 to the third. Connect the end light to the end terminal of any inverter and connect the ground terminal of the load output to the grounding bus bar. Next, connect the power communication cables. Each inverter comes with a standard 10-pin black communication cable. Please use only the provided cable. Using custom cables may cause communication failures. If we define the two power communication ports as port 1 and port 2, then the communication line between adjacent inverters must connect port 2 to port 1. Do not connect port 1 to port 1. Now let's install the CD sensors for the three utility phase lights. Each inverter comes with one dual channel CD set. Pay attention to the arrow direction and the phase label on the CDs. The arrow should point toward the inverter and the phase label indicates which phase the CD should be installed on. Here we only need two CD sets. 
Insert the first CD plug into the CD port of the first inverter. Install the CD labeled L1 on the wire connected between the inverter switch 1 terminal and the utility. Install the CD labeled L2 on the wire connected between the second inverter switch L1 terminal and the utility. Then plug the second CD set into the CD port of the second inverter and install the CD labeled L1 on the line between the third inverter switch L1 terminal and the utility. After checking that all wiring is correct, stable, and securely fastened, you can proceed with the power setup. Close the battery breaker and turn on the inverter switch to start the first inverter. When configuring any inverter, make sure all other inverters are turned off. Note that after startup, the inverter will enter inverter mode automatically after running for a short while. Enter the work mode setup menu, press the right key to access the second page, set grid type to 3 phase and power mode to 3 phase A. Then click OK to save. If a message configuration unsuccessful appears, that's because the inverter is still in inverter mode and phase setting cannot be changed at this time. To fix this, turn off the inverter switch to stop inversion and click OK again to successfully save the settings. After returning to the home screen, you may see arrow 34, CAN communication fault. This is normal. It simply means the inverter has not yet detected other inverters in the power system. Ignore the arrow for now. Since we turned off the inverter switch, it will automatically shut down after a short time, then manually turn off the battery breaker. Next, start the second inverter and before it begins inverting, go to the same work mode setup page. Set grid type to 3 phase and power mode to 3 phase B. Click OK to save, then turn off the inverter switch and battery breaker. Repeat the same step for the third inverter, setting grid type to 3 phase and power mode to 3 phase C. Save the settings and power it off. Now power on the inverters one by one. The inverter start first will automatically be assigned communication ID 1, and following one will receive consecutive IDs. Once connected to the battery BMS route communication cable, and the battery type is set on any one inverter, all other inverters in power system will automatically synchronize the same settings. Keep in mind that the current sharing function between the inverters only works after their AC output ports are connected. Before the load breakers are closed, the system will display arrow 37, which will clear automatically once you close load breakers. That's all for the three-phase power setup of three PowerSong Smart LBN 12K hybrid inverters. We hope this video helps you better understand the process. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.